try and strip this down. It's a iron sort of pressy sort of thing. I don't know what. I know it's an iron because it's got that part. Um, but I think it's got a it's got a water holding tank too. So I'm interested to find out what's inside. There may be a bit of copper, maybe a bit of brass. We don't know. Might be a stainless steel tank. Might be a steel tank. We'll get to find out. June's still down here, stripping away. Got a lot to do. Um, so yeah, welcome back to our everyday living uh, on the bench. So um, let's get to and start into this. I've made things a little bit quicker, so I haven't made things quick because I've got nothing to put the stuff in. Bin's full, waiting for the garbo truck to come. We'll put our screws in that one. Rubbish in another one. These are handy bins I picked up. So handy. There are many videos back on those. Right, push that tank out of the road. We should be able to peel this bottom piece off too, I hope. Uh, we'll go into here. How do we get that out of there? Should be able to just go pop down through there and pop that out. That'll do. Sunny Jim. That does that. And we're putting rubbish over there. Don't want the rubbish. Nothing in that piece. Here we go. Screw there. Plastic over there. Get rid of this part here. Let's go to town and undo some screws. Find out what we're going to get. Sort of got lucky with the bit I'm using. Just took a stab in the dark about it. All right, that should pop off, hopefully. With all of that, there we go. Right, now I won't be able to take that off, even though it is screwed down. Um, so, yeah, they are glued real tight but what I can do is I can go along here prise that off and then I can get it as a dirty alloy it's a bit time consuming Way mozzy, you're not biting me. Right, should be able to peel it out now. Another screwdriver. So that's alloy, I've got nothing for alloy, put it down there, put that in the steel. And what do we got here? We have a bit of rubbish, a lot of rubbish. There's a wire in that, I cannot remember whether that's the good copper wire or junky wire. But we still hang on to our junky wire anyway. We put it in the bin because it's got 50% copper in it anyway. Side cutters, snips, whatever they call them, wire cutters. 
cut that one there, cut those four there, leave those little bits of wire on there, not worth it. I think they're uh, junky wire those, yeah junky wire, it has got a bit of copper in it but there's not much, not worth it. So I'm leaving it on there. Let me get that plastic, black plastic piece off. No screws holding it, no. Just thought I'd show everyone how these come apart. There we go, we got it apart. If you're not there to fix it, you're there to pull it apart. You might as well break it. hose good hose in this stuff tell you what you could use it for a vacuum hose like on your motor or something like that if you've got a vacuum leak right leave that intact because we'll wait until we get that off then all you got to do is run the Stanley knife down it and it just opens like a butter like a butterfly I should say now some of these screws I don't think I'll be able to get, but I'll try my best. No, it won't reach. It won't reach. Got another one here. That'll reach it. Sweet. What do you want? No, it's only an email. Got to go manual. I haven't got the extended ones of those. Security ones, these are. Security screws. Pen the butt. We've got about four or five of these, maybe six. That's that one. Oh, come on, go in the hole. Damn mozzies. Yeah, I'll fix them. Spray a bit of the old bushy. Bushy man. They won't bite me now. I went back to um, where I picked up all that other stuff, the tyres, computers, and that sort of thing today too. In, in the point. And... Um, yeah, they they cleaned all that steel up. I can't get that in that one. Why won't you go in there? Oh, well, that's going to be a hammer job. That one might be a hammer job too, but that's the same as that. They'd left all the tyres there and gas bottles. Not the size what we want. I said they left tyres there, yeah, because yeah, they had a lot of motorbikes and whatever else there, yeah. right, um, and they left gas bottles there too, yeah. and I thought, well, no, I don't want those, they're not the ones what we're going to be using, they were the, 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 the 25 kilo ones, and real potties, oh, yeah, no, <laughs> two kilos so yeah just for having a, a bit of a discussion with June with our plans and what we are looking at in the future if we can manage to get back into it if we ever leave this place we'd like to get back into it I won't reveal what it is. We we started a business. That's all it is. It's a business that we had. Um, and, yeah, we, we just couldn't continue with it because we had nowhere to actually make them. That sort of thing. Pretty cluey that way. So, they were selling like hotcakes. 
something to do with steel fabrication. Right, we are smoking along here. Wasn't expecting this, I was going to hit it with the hammer. Make a great mess. There's, what, two, four, I did say six screws. At least I'm doing the screws, I'm not going to make a mess. There we go. Empty them out. Yep, 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 yep. They're all out. That should come apart, hopefully. I hope. He says, that's those famous words. I hope. There we go. The bum's off. The bum is off. Right. So, we have an aluminium plate, which we can get, take the heater core off it and make it extruded alloy. Not extruded, cast alloy, sorry. I'll get it right. Take the rubbers off there. Right. Ah, uh, we got to change your bit to the smaller one. I think it's the very smaller one. Yep. And we need a 10 mil socket. That into the steel. Cut that there, cut that there, and cut that there. Do, 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 do. Part. Quite simple, mate. Grab a grinder. I got protection. Hot plastic. That's hot plastic. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, burnies. Burnies. Ow. Hot plastic. <laughs> That's all good. I'm still alive. <laughs> I burnt myself, though. <laughs> I said hot plastic. I didn't realize it was underneath it. Damn. Right, we'll put that over there because I've got to deal with that later. God damn that hurt. Never mind. My silly mistake, should have wore a glove. Can't seem to handle screws with the gloves on. What are we doing here? We only want that off there at the moment. Um, so that one's a junky wire too, I think. Yep. All right, we'll deal with it later. So I pulling that off there, we'll just cut it off. And that's copper wire. Dwing. There's another one for you if you want to strip that one out. That's a normal size. <laughs> do, 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 do. Off with the clips. Circuit board out of there. 
that's still hurting. Plastic there. Circuit board can go into steel. But I am going to take that one there and that one there off because they've got copper in them. I'll show you how I deal with these. Just pull them off. Doesn't break the circuit board. Then I'll put them in my multi grips, corner to corner, break the plastic out. That can go straight in there, finish with that. Peel the plastic off. And there's the nice copper. Right, I've been putting them over there for later processing. Got rid of the plastic. It's like cracking open a shell. Right, that should lift out as soon as I undo all of this over here. That's steel. Oh, that was nice and cool. Cut that hose. Pull that out. Another big solenoid thing up there. That's that gone. I don't think there's anything in that, uh, except for a bit of hard plastic. That's what it looks like to me, just a bit of hard plastic. Right, this is left with that. You can see how much plastic was in that. It's unreal. Right, down to the nitty gritty of it all. Cut them off there. We should be able to pull that out of there now. That out of there so, that's over there. And that'll come out. Get a screwdriver each side. What to do with that other one? I put it away, didn't I? Pop that apart. Put those in steel. Go, that can go into the steel too. Yeah, we'll put that into the steel. Grab that out of there, because we don't want that to go with that. That can go into there. That one into there. Take that clip off of there, and that's another big solenoid. It's got copper inside. I don't bother pulling them apart or breaking them apart. It's too messy. I just leave them like that and they go as that. I even leave the points on. They don't seem to mind. So, where are we up to? We are up to... Sit that there, grab the tenner. Tenner, is it? No, it's the smaller one. The eight. Where have I put that? Where do I put that? My little toolbox. There it is. Nope, wrong one. I could go back to the other. Pop that back under there. Get the extension, the adapter, and we go down to this one. Now that's the seven, that's the eight.
One more. Alright, screwdriver bit. Need a quick change tool. Oh, that's not screwdriver bit. That's the torque bit. Damn. Back to where it was. Pull that off of there. Finish with that one. Go back to this one. Get rid of that. Uh, side cutters, snip that there, snip that there, that can go into steel, screw can too, there's the bit of brass I was talking about, I said there may be a bit of brass, I didn't know whether there was, some of them are different. Right, that's that off of there. Right, get that off there. Oh, this one is different. It's fully encased. I had one of these um, where the heater coil was just sitting in there and I was able to pry the heater coil out and put it in the scrap metal. But that one totally cannot do that. Bummer, 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 bummer. Oh well, cut that one there, that one there, and we'll have to put that in there, I suppose. Now I've got a funny feeling this tank is steel. Put that wire in there. You can put the crap wire in there. Sometimes I do. That lot I will. Too small of a stuff to worry about. Right, grab the multi grips. Undo that nut. Oof. Things are going everywhere. Nut. Shifter. Little shifter. going to fit yep sweet damn that's tight damn that's tight well, that won't fit 15 too big so she's a 9 16 14 mil do 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 14 mil Put it in the vice. Put it in the vice. Oh, we're turning something. It's a coming. It's coming. Oh, is it? Must be. Oh, Jesus.
Something's happening. There we go, here we go. Got some action. Okay, it's not what I was expecting. I'll have to deal with that. All right, pull that clip off. Just to get our brass. It can go in the rubbish. Bit of clean brass, that. Ooh. Ooh. That can go in steel. Nothing else in there. No. Nope. Take that off there. Leave that to there. I might do the same with this one. The old crow back growing in the background. No arc, arc, arc. Don't crook on me. clean piece that one right now we have to use the allen keys trust me it grabbed the wrong one first off Should be a spring inside this. It's like a pressure release valve. Spring can go there. That can come off there. Uh, them again. Might not be able to use those. I'll go the Spaniard. I think I've got to have a 58. I had it here somewhere. There it is. I was right. Oops. Drop it on the ground. And I just got to punch that out of there. Right. Where's my little punch I made? Back to my little toolbox. That'll do. There we go. Punch it out. Get that bit of rubber off in the rubbish. A lot of brass. Right, down to the tank itself. I got a funny feeling. Got a lot of water in it. Rusty water, so it must be steel. Take that off. Magnet, there we go, she's just steel. Genuine stainless, show you what I'm talking about. Genuine stainless, none. That's genuine. So, it'll go down to there. Get to finish this solenoid off and do the cord. Rattly old voice, hey. Where'd that... Spaniard go. Or did I just put it away? I think I did. There we go. Need something to hold it. Check in there.
There's another one there. Another washer. Can't seem to get that one. Oh, it's encased in it. Okay. So, what we got out of that so far? Bit of alloy, two solenoids, a bit of brass, a whole heap of steel down there. And let's get into this cord. Um, can I have that knife down there, please, when you're able? Can I have that knife down there when you're able, please? Thank you. Right. To deal with this. Oh, she's a bit blunt. Chop him off. Chopping it up. Uh, where's the pliers? Gonna hold. They're not the pliers I want, but they kind of have to do the job. Break the tit off. Put that in there. Right. Should be sharp now. slide in no it was doing no good pull the hose out as you go you should be able to cut that there and that should crump crumple up little bits at a time Not too worried about the hose. Not on this one. I've already salvaged one of these hoses. Once you get a run, you're pretty well doing well. It's the last bit you've got to watch on your hand. There we go. Makes life easy. All right, throwing that bit of hose in the bin, in the trash. Let that go. Pull that bit off. This is all copper wire, this one. Pull that out of there. Back it out. just push off so if you ever get one of these steamers irons whatever you'd like to call them I was able to salvage one and we kept one if you ever want to get that stuff out to get a nice long piece of cord out copper wire that's how you do that so that's what we got out of that that's a fair bit of a fair bit of little bits and pieces and bobs and whatnot. Pity that's not stainless. Be nice. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed tagging along me pulling this apart. Don't know what the name of it was. I'll just call it an iron. Air. Oh, auto clean anyway. Um, yeah. I'll just call it an iron. So yeah, I enjoyed doing those. I've um, got a whole heap of exit signs down there that um, there's security exit signs. Well, they're not security. They're, when your lights go out, they it's like this one up here I've got in the in the roof. Like the switch is turned on at the moment. Green light's going up there. You probably see a green light. Um, when you turn the switch off, it comes on. So it's on battery power now. It charges the battery. Um, they're the same sort of thing, so it's, they're like an exit light. That's all they are. And say, well, where, where the exits are in shops and that sort of thing. But that's like a security, a light, not light and that sort of thing. So, yeah, that's what they are. Um, that's the exit ones. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed tagging along with this, 
this video um don't forget to like subscribe and i will definitely see you in the next one cheerio